Hey, thanks for tuning in to Twang and Bang. If you're like me, you've been wondering lately, how am I going to keep shooting when I can't find any 5.56 or even 9mm ammo to replace the stuff I'm shooting up? Well, for me, the solution was to get a single action revolver. In particular, I picked up a Ruger New Vaquero. What's pretty cool about this is that even though it's modeled after the awesome Colt Peacemaker, it's a very modern firearm with a lot of features that make it safer and more usable than an original Colt. I want to show you what those features are, and we're going to take it to the range to battle a few banditos. And that's what's coming up next on Twang and Bang. If you're used to shooting one or nines, the first thing you notice when you pick up a single action revolver is that you know you're holding a pistol. The grip is shaped for your hand. It's not shaped to hold a double stack magazine and then you just happen to hold it there in order to shoot it. This Ruger in particular is a special edition design for Davidson's. They're the only distributor to get it. It's stainless steel with black grips. It's got a four and five eighths inch barrel. And the really cool thing about this is it comes with two match cylinders, one in 45 Long Colt and the other in 45 ACP. The trigger on this pistol breaks at about four pounds, two ounces. Though this has a really cool look of the Colt Peacemaker, the Ruger New Vaquero is not a Colt clone. And for my purposes, that's a really good thing because it has two really cool features that distinguish it from the original Colt. First, unlike the Colt, this has a transfer bar safety. And what that means is that the Ruger New Vaquero is safe to carry on a loaded chamber. It also makes accidental thumbing of the hammer less likely to cause a round to go off. The other cool thing is instead of a half cock position on the hammer, all you do is open the loading gate and that unlocks the cylinder. But even cooler is that it has a reverse indexing pole that locks the cylinder in place for easy loading and unloading. The wind is ripping through this range today. The only thing that would make this more authentic is if I had a tumbleweed blowing on through. I've got Blue Bart and two of his buddies set up. Let's take him out with some 45 long pole. As slow as that was, I really feel like I'd run out of ammo very fast. That is a lot of fun, <laughs> but if I were up against three bad guys, I'd prefer my Glock G17. <laughs> like with most guns, shooting with two hands is faster than one. There's some people that get really practiced at two-handed thumbing of a single-action revolver that they're as fast as somebody shooting an autoloader for, for five shots. I'm not practiced at this, but I'm going to give it a shot so you can see what it looks like. I got him three out of five times. <laughs> I'm actually pretty happy about that. 45 Long Colt is pretty expensive for factory loaded ammunition. 45 ACP, not so much. If your preference is to use factory loaded ammunition, getting a convertible cylinder can save you money pretty quickly. Now, these are pretty easy to change out. But before I switch from shooting lead nose ammunition to copper ammunition, I'm going to work some of the lead out of the barrel. A lot of people don't do this, but that's my preference. One wipe and we're good to go. We're good to go. Looks like five more banditos came into town. We're going to take them out with 45 ACP. I didn't know they had body armor back then. <laughs> I hit them. <laughs> for me, one of the coolest things about single action revolvers is that they are ready made for shooting wax bullets. All you need to do is take your standard case and whatever caliber your pistol is, you drill out the primer pocket so the flash hole is about one eighth of an inch. You load up a wax bullet inside of the case, put a primer on the back, and you're good to go for about five, six, six cents a round. So with this Ruger New Vaquero, I have the choice of shooting 
45 long colt, 45 ACP, or even wax bullets in my backyard. There's nothing that's going to keep me from shooting when I've got that many options. If you want to learn more about the Ruger New Vaquero and its many different versions, be sure to click the link in the video description below. If you like this video, please take the time to log into YouTube and click the like button. Now more than ever, YouTube needs to know that you like firearms oriented programming. Be sure to click here to subscribe so you can catch my next videos on bows, guns, and other cool stuff. I really appreciate you watching Twangabang, and I hope to see you next time.